Godot 3.4 comes with a new UI theme editor. Um, the old one was a bit tedious to use and was showing its age, while this one will save you hopefully a lot of time when creating UI styles in Godot. In this video, I'm going to show you how it works and new features, but first, quick look at what is a theme. A theme is a resource you attach to a UI node in the theme uh, category in the inspector, and if I remove it, you're going to see the styles of my interface instantly change. Many go back to the default. And I have a few custom styles on some of the nodes that stay like this dark panel background. Uh, here is what happens if I restore the theme. I only attached it to the lesson panel and all the nodes in the scene get those default styles. You can uh, have a look at you know this interface here. It has some folding, some scroll bars, etc. All the styles, the fonts, etc. are provided by the theme. So uh, here's how it works. When you select a node, typically the root of your user interface can go to the theme um, in the inspector and right click, create a new theme resource. So here it resets to some default styles. You click the resource to open the editor. Now I expand the editor with the icon in the bottom right and uh, by default, you get a preview like the old one of many components, UI nodes that Godot provides. So you can see how they will look by default. And on the right, you have a new column that allows you to override, to replace the default themes. The way you do it, because every game uses a different set of UI nodes, is by overriding select classes. For example, we have the button here, say we want to change it. So we're going to click the plus icon there at the top right of the interface, and we're going to double click button to add it. By default, the properties do not appear to not clutter your inspector and the resource. You can manually override just the ones that you need, or you can click override all to override them all. For the button, for example, we can change the styles. I'm going to put in a default font that I prepared uh, here. So the text font into the default font slot, which will make everything more legible for you in the video. So um, you have two places where you can change the resources, like before in the inspector, right? Or you can also have this focus view where you have common tabs for all of the types of nodes that you can choose. I'm going to override the normal style of the button with a new style box flat. This is a flat colored background. Click it and change the color. Uh, I have a plugin here that gives us our color palette. Uh, and there you go. You can see instantly the button's preview changes on the left. Now, if I hover over the element, because we haven't changed the other properties, we do get the default style. So I'm gonna click hover, new style box flat, click to edit it, and then set a lighter background color. So when you hover, you can see instantly you get the result, right? And you can change many properties, like give some margin to the box to um, put some padding around the text, all those kinds of things. But that's a bit beyond the scope of this video. What I wanted to show you is how you add properties to the theme. You have a new interface to manage the theme item. So if you want to do some cleanup, you can click the icons there to just remove stuff that you don't use in the theme. Uh, that allows you to keep it simple, basically. You can also add new types in there, just like you can do with a plus button. Um, and I want to show you a different thing now. It's if we add another type of node, so say the label, you want to have a particular font for it, right? Now you can use the drop-down menu to switch between just the nodes that you override in your theme. So that makes things a lot simpler than it was before. Now I'm going to go back to my lesson panel and use the theme I prepared. So I'm going to clear the selection and click and drag the GDScript app theme here. So now you can see the styles change instantly and um, well this is done through overriding some of the parts like the progress bar, the um, v scroll bar and those kinds of things. And you can see that others are not like the toggle buttons, which we don't use yet, um, the line edit and those kinds of things. So you can really build things little by little. 
what I want to showcase is this new preview feature. You can now work completely in this interface and you can add a preview uh, using one of your Godot scenes, just some UI scene like our lesson panel here. And then you will have tabs to preview different UI components in your project, right? Uh, you can interact with the UI, so it runs it. That's amazing. So you can test it in action and you can do even better than that. You can click little picker in the top left and hover over the element exactly like you would for web developers here in your web browser and select the button, for example. So you can see uh, I'm editing the button. Now, if I go to label, I click and I'm editing the label now. So you can see some element is not looking right, say the progress bar, you click it. Now you are editing the progress bar and I can change the font color, say I want a green, instantly it updates. And that's the gist of it really. You add elements, then you put your preview, you select elements, you change the styles until it looks good. You can click the things, you can interact with them. And uh, that's really amazing. The UI I'm showing you in this video is from our Kickstarter. So right now we are creating an app that will allow you to learn the basics of GDScript right in your browser without the complexity of the Godot engine. It will be free and open source thanks to the community who's been supporting us, backing us on Kickstarter. The campaign is still going for a couple of days and so uh, I invite you to check all the details in the description below. It's for a complete course to learn to code from zero, which can be really good if you have a sibling, a friend, a loved one that would like to learn game development or programming in a fun way. I want to thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun, and enjoy the new themes in Godot 3.4. Bye-bye.